Let's wrap things up. Rutgers, the Scarlet Knights. 1 and 11. 1 and 11, 0 oh and 9 last year. Six returning starters on offense, five on defense. Number 75 in the country in experience. Number seven in the conference in experience. Over under is two and a half. The over minus one fifty. Vegas expects them to go three. Uh, under is plus one thirty. I will tell you this. I have got them at two and ten, zero oh and eight in the conference. You got them one and eleven. One and eleven. One and eleven. And I'll take and I'll take that under bet. I like to give everybody at least a little bit. We gave them a win. Um. Their offensive success rate last year was 28.8%. That is worst in all of FBS. Uh, Look, since Ash took over in 2016, Rutgers scoring offense was 127th in 2016, 121st in 2017, and dead last, 130th last year. Only 13.5 points per game. Uh, I know you want to give them the win over Liberty. They will be outcoached in a way in which they have never been outcoached by a team that is probably bringing less talent to them. Yeah. When Liberty comes to town. And now, I, I'll tell you this. If, like, if they just run Raheem Blackshear over them the whole time, like they just never throw the football. Then it might not be anything then, Liberty can do. Then just they might. Got yeah. A dude. But, yeah. And then at Illinois, it, while Illinois is bad, Illinois went to Rutgers last year and drummed them. Oh, yeah. Smoked them. Uh, they check this out. McNulty. The first offensive coordinator in a decade to return for his second season. Think about how long that is. The first offensive coordinator in a decade to come back for a second for two season. Years. Like they they have to get better everywhere. Like they are this is such a losing culture that they can't even get into battles for recruits in their own backyard. And I want Rutgers to like. I remember when Greg Schiano was there, and they were they were fun. They were good. My my issue with people who used to crap on Greg Schiano was this guy had them playing in a ro- in an Orange Bowl. Yeah, I mean Rutgers was winning, not just winning. They played in an Orange Bowl. Yeah, it's just it's crazy. Um, so let's let's crap on a guy's resume. Yeah. All right, they nobody nobody in college football has got that on the resume. Nobody. Rutgers fans, I believe, will want Chris Ash gone after this season. But look, uh, seven point five million dollars will still be owed to him, and uh, his who, boss. Who is taking those jobs? His boss Hobbs, uh, the athletic director, it wants him to succeed. So, like, I who, think he'll probably be there again next year. Who are who? Who's taking that job? I think a lot of people would take that job. That's still a Big Ten job. Like, and they're going to study. So, for years, they have not gotten as much money as the other, like the the legacy Big Ten programs. Correct. Uh, they in Maryland have not, but they are starting to get their bigger piece of the pie. The more money keeps coming in, the more you can improve your facilities, the more you can really recruit with people. I don't people, know what you're the, paying those other coaches, but I can go one to 11 and you can pay me half. Yeah. Just, yeah. just pay me half of what you paid the last seven, eight guys. And I'll come, and I'll give you the same results. You save 50% of the money. Can you believe Chris Ash still owed $7.5 million That's even after this about. season? That's what I'm talking about. I mean, that is some crazy, crazy stuff. All right, go to winningcureseverything.com. That's going to wrap up the Big Ten. Uh, we got, what, Michigan 12-0, and 0, and then either Iowa or Northwestern coming out of the other division. Um, yeah, Northwestern. So, yeah, go download the podcast. Uh, subscribe to Apple Podcast. Go Just go to winningcureseverything.com. It's got everything over there. Share the show out. Go to tunicatravel.com. We appreciate them for sponsoring the show. We'll see you guys next go round. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.